Peace fam, it's the Pressure Cooker and I'm back with another video. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope your year is off to a great start. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the nosy ho in Jaguar beef. Also, um, I'm going to touch a little bit on uh, Sean Davey Way's interview with Jaguar Wright and her husband. So let's get into it. So if you guys have been following this story for a while, you would know that back, uh, a few years ago, Jaguar and Nosy became acquainted, maybe even became friends after the whole Tasha K interview um, with Jaguar Wright. Jaguar Wright and Tasha K got into it. Um, Nosy Hope kind of picked up from there. And, you know, we saw her frequently on Nosy Ho's channel. This is back when I used to watch Nosy Ho um, prior to her making her comments about Jamaicans. Anyway, so um, Jaguar Wright and her hit it off. I think even when she was in, was it Miami? I think when, even when she was in Miami, um, they met up because I remember that. I think that's when I started watching her channel. That's what it was. So I, because at the time I actually thought she was uh, from Miami. So anyway, child, I don't know what happened. Okay. I'm going to tell you like I heard it, but it still doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, all of a sudden Jaguar Wright was putting out this Instagram about nosy ho she was saying all kinds of stuff about calling her a sex worker which is not a secret because she self-identifies as a sex worker um she said nosy ho was using her ex-girlfriend as a trick she said all kinds of stuff just really out there you know um crazy stuff about you know her mental health status just different things and it, it sounded really bad and, and jaguar revealed that she was upset because nosy ho threatened to put a recording on her website where Jaguar had admitted that she had cheated on her husband. Now, um, in the Sean Davey Way interview, it was interesting because Sean actually asked her, you in fact say that. And basically it sounded like Jaguar Wright said that she did, but then she said she was telling Nosy Ho that on purpose to see if she was gonna come back and spill the tea. Now, that makes no sense to me. I can understand doing that, it, you know, if you're suspicious of somebody, but, you were saying admittedly that you guys were friends at the time. So she also was mad because Nosy Ho recorded her. Then she claimed that she recorded Nosy. You know, I don't understand these people who record each other on here. I told you all before, if you are in whatever type of friendship with anybody from YouTube and you find out that they're recording shit, you need to run and take off and don't look back because that's not healthy and it's not normal. Okay. If you guys are cool, there's no reason for anybody to be recording anything. It's weird. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. So y'all, they're both wrong for that. They're y'all were never friends. Okay. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons why we're going to get into it. So she, she was really mad about that. She cussed out nosy ho. She was spilling mad tea. And here's the thing, guys, because um, I don't have any size in this case. I'm just going to give it to y'all real and raw, and I'm going to give you unbiased commentary. I feel like when people tell each other deep, dark secrets or whatever it is, and then people come back out here and spill that shit, it's a poor reflection on the person spilling the tea, okay? It just looks weird, especially things related to people's trauma histories, Anybody that's doing that, which in this case, it feels like both of them are doing it. It's weird. And it just shows you the person's character. Because if you can't drag somebody without bringing in their trauma history into question, I, I, it's just, I don't know. And I'm not talking about referencing it. I'm talking about dragging them, making fun of them for it. Okay. So anyway, uh, let me get back to the topic. So here are my observations before we get into the Sean Davey Way interview. I think, I don't believe that Jaguar Wright told Nosy Ho that she cheated on her husband just for fun, okay? And just to see if she was going to come back with it. I think that she, in fact, did tell her that. And whatever reason, they fell out, because the story now makes no sense to me, Th that they fell out. And now she's saying that, um, you know, Nosy Ho's a snake in the grass. Uh, I don't know how she didn't see that before. And how, you know, she's not to be trusted and, you know, all the stuff. She's toxic. Girl, y'all both toxic. <laughs> y'all are both toxic. Y'all done did a whole nasty piece of trauma bonding, okay? And didn't vet each other. And now you're mad that things fell apart and went up in smoke. 
make it make sense. Okay, the signs were already there. I don't understand. It's not like this is, it's not like Nosy Ho is one of the people that was like, oh my gosh, I'm just so sweet and so nice. And then you got blindsided. Sweetie, she's been doing these things. She's been yelling at people, demeaning people, dismissing people, talking badly about her significant others, spilling their personal details. And you thought that just because you were Jaguar, right? She wasn't going to do that shit to you, girl. Bye. Okay. Anyway. Um, I think Jaguar Wright felt rejected because in Sean Davey's interview, she referenced a phone call between Nosy and her and that Sherelle and King Payne, <clears throat> excuse me, King Payne was in the background, okay, as witnesses per Nosy's request. And in the, in the phone call, Nosy Ho was basically discarding Jaguar saying, look, I'm done with you. You a clout chaser. Now let that sink in y'all. <laughs> Uh, Jaguar is the clout chaser in this situation. Okay. Um, so she just cussed her off and tell her all kinds of things. And Jaguar was, I think Jaguar was in her feelings about it, rightfully as she should. She felt rejected. And I think this is why we're seeing the backlash. Okay. They both did stuff. Now here's the thing. I think Nosy Ho and Jaguar have similar, uh, tendencies. Okay. The, the, the difference is that Nosy Ho is a lot meaner than Jaguar. Okay. I think Jaguar is capable of a lot of stuff as well, but I don't think she's just going to come out here and just do it just to do it. Okay. The thing is that they both have amazing stamina for the F ish. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of exhibits that I can point to where Nosy Ho rides shit until the wheels fall off. She presses the gas hard. She goes off the cliff. She resurrects, comes back and presses the damn gas again. That's Nosy Ho. I have a feeling Jaguar Wright is the same, okay? But she just she just looks it just looks different, okay? It looks different. Let's get into this Sean Davey Wright interview. So, um, Sean Davey Wright interviewed Jaguar and her husband, and one of the things that stood out to me right off the bat was that Jaguar kept referencing that if she had in fact cheated on her husband, her husband would choke her. I thought that was very strange. She repeatedly said it. And at one point in the interview, she even tried to get her husband to pretend like he was choking her. He didn't do it, but it was just, it was weird. It was a little weird and a little contrived. Um, you know, one thing with Jaguar, she's a storyteller. Okay. Now I don't necessarily mean she's a liar. I mean, she's good at telling the story. She's good at, you know, the build. She's good at getting you, you know, intrigued. And so that's one of the things I'm sure it's fun to interview somebody like that because, you know, they're entertaining in the way that they tell stories. I didn't like how much Jaguar was outing other people's stories. I think certain things are for other people to share. She was outing different people in the industry, you know, that were allegedly gay. Um, just different things like you know if they're alleged criminals and they're committing certain crimes i don't it doesn't bother me if it's true if she's outing it you know and it's true that doesn't bother me but just like other personal things i don't feel like that's her place to tell um yeah it's it's, it's weird it was weird and i would love to know what you guys think about this as well Sometimes I wonder, because Jaguar has spilled so much tea, I don't know what's real and what's not real. Sometimes I wonder, who's protecting Jaguar? Have you guys ever thought about that? Like, you know, she's she's made a lot of accusations, and she even came for uh, Jay-Z in the interview. And she said a lot of things about Jay-Z, honey. And it was just, I'm just like, wow, Jaguar is like, it almost feels like she's untouchable, because she said a lot of things about some of these big people and you know she's i'm glad she's safe i don't want anything to happen to her but what do you guys think who do you think is protecting jack um you know she must have some good ancestors and then at one point she had talked about um she talked she wanted she went into a lot of things guys she was like oh nosy homeless treats her dog you know um she talked about how she helped nosy grow her channel which was a fact she did help her um and you know how nosy ho does black magic but i'm like some of these things like she said that nosy ho has called herself a witch before like it is some of the things aren't tea because if you watched her as i did back in the day these are things that she would just say and i think people think she was joking um you know she's referenced a lot that she's from louisiana jaguar even made a threat in the in the interview with sean saying look i'm gonna go to um shreveport and do this that and the third it's getting pretty ugly it's getting pretty ugly. Um, and then she even, this is so messed up. She even, <laughs> it was so foul. She even referenced, she even said, 
about actually dating somebody new and how much better their new partner was and how how actually is now sober <laughs> anyway those are my observations let me know what you guys think um i think sean did a good job interviewing jaguar uh, my only criticism is that sean you know jaguar is a loose cannon he did do a good job redirecting her where he could Sean, you know that Jaguar is a loose cannon. You cannot wrangle this woman. You know, you knew she was going to throw stuff out there. <laughs> there were times that he was melting into his chair or tried to like change, you know, change the subject. But it's like, come on, you know what it gives. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.